Namaskar students and welcome. In this video, we are going to see the question answers of 8 science, lesson number 13, chemical change and chemical bond. So let's begin. First question, complete the statement by filling the gaps using appropriate term from the terms given in the bracket. So here we have options also children and dash is drawn in between the reactants and products while writing the equation for a chemical reaction. In a chemical reaction children, we are drawing an arrow between the reactants and products. Rusting of iron is a dash chemical change. It is a slow chemical change children. The spoiling of food is a chemical change which is recognized from the generation of certain dash due to it. Certain smell. The smell of the food changes children. A colorless solution of calcium hydroxide in a test tube turns dash on blowing in it through a blow tube for some time. When we are blowing children, we are giving out carbon dioxide gas. And this carbon dioxide gas turns lime water. Means calcium hydroxide. Milky. The white particles of baking soda disappear when put in lemon juice. This means that it is a dash change. It is a chemical change children because baking soda dissolves in lemon juice. Oxygen is a dash in respiration. Oxygen is a reactant children. We inhale oxygen and give out carbon dioxide. Sodium chloride is dash compound while hydrogen chloride is dash compound. Sodium chloride is ionic compound and hydrogen chloride is covalent compound. Electron dash is complete in each hydrogen in a hydrogen molecule. In hydrogen molecule children, two hydrogen atoms combine together. So each hydrogen atom gets two to electrons. So it is a duplet. Two are together. H2. Chlorine Cl2 molecule is formed by dash of electrons between two chlorine atoms by sharing of electrons. Hydrogen also shares electrons. Next question. Explain by writing word equation. Respiration is a chemical change. Respiration is a continuously occurring biological process. In our body and in the bodies of all living beings. In this process, we inhale oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide and water vapor. Glucose in the cells react with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. So this is the word equation children. Glucose plus oxygen undergo respiration and form carbon dioxide and water. This is an unbalanced chemical equation children. Glucose is C6H12O6 plus oxygen gives carbon dioxide and water when respiration process takes place. Hard water gets softened on mixing with a solution of washing soda. Hard water does not form lather with soap or detergent. This is because hard water contains chloride and sulfate salts of calcium and magnesium in dissolved state. To soften the hard water, a solution of washing soda is added to it. This results in a chemical reaction to form a precipitate of insoluble salts and the water is softened. Washing soda means sodium carbonate children because washing soda contains sodium carbonate. So this is the word equation. Calcium chloride, one of the salts, plus sodium carbonate gives calcium carbonate plus sodium chloride. This is the unbalanced chemical equation CaCl2, calcium chloride, plus sodium carbonate gives calcium carbonate plus sodium chloride. Next, limestone powder disappears on adding to dilute hydrochloric acid. Limestone powder contains calcium carbonate. When hydrochloric acid is added due to chemical reaction, three products are formed. One of them is calcium chloride which gets soluble in water. Carbon dioxide gas comes out in the form of bubbles and the third product formed is water. 
So this is the Ward equation, children. Calcium carbonate plus hydrochloric acid. Calcium carbonate means limestone. Gives calcium chloride plus carbon dioxide plus water. This is the unbalanced chemical equation. CaCO3, calcium carbonate plus HCl, hydrochloric acid. Gives calcium chloride, CaCl2 plus carbon dioxide plus water. Next question. Bubbles are seen on adding lemon juice to baking soda. When baking soda is added to lemon juice, the citric acid present in lemon juice reacts with sodium bicarbonate present in baking soda and sodium citrate, water and carbon dioxide gas are formed. This gas is seen as bubbles. So the bubbles which we see are of carbon dioxide gas. This is the word equation children. Citric acid plus sodium bicarbonate gives sodium citrate plus water plus carbon dioxide. This is the unbalanced chemical equation children. C6H8O7. This we can write in different way also. Citric acid plus sodium bicarbonate. Sodium hydrogen carbonate. Baking soda. Gives sodium citrate. Na3C6H5O7. This also can be written in different way. Plus water plus carbon dioxide. Match the pairs children. I have already written the correct answers next to them. Photosynthesis is a chemical change. Water forms covalent bond. Sodium chloride forms ionic bond. Dissolution of salt in water. When salt dissolves in water, it's a physical change. Carbon reactant in combustion process. In combustion, it is a reactant. Fluorine tendency to form anion. Negative ion. Because it wants one electron. It is having seven electrons in the outermost shell. So it will take one and show a negative sign. Magnesium. Tendency to lose electrons. Next question. Show with the help of diagram of electronic configuration. How the following compound are formed from the constituent atoms. We can show the electron dot structure in a different way also children. Sodium chloride. Sodium chloride forms ionic bond. Sodium is having atomic number 11 and its electronic configuration is 2, 8 and 1. 2 plus 8, 10. 10 plus 1, 11. Total 11. So 2 electrons in the first shell, 8 electrons in the second shell, 2 plus 8 and 1 electron in the outermost shell. Chlorine has 17 atomic number. Electronic configuration is 2, 8 and 7. 2 plus 8, 10. 10 plus 7, 17. So 2 electrons in the first shell, 8 electrons in the second shell and 7 electrons in the third shell. So sodium will give this one electron to chlorine. And it will also have 8 electrons in the outermost shell because the second shell will become the outermost shell. And chlorine will also have 8 electrons in the outermost shell. So it's give and take. That's why it's ionic bond. Sodium gives one electron and chlorine takes that one electron. Next one, potassium fluoride. Potassium fluoride also forms ionic bond. Potassium is having atomic number 19. So its electronic configuration will be 2, 8, 8, 1. 2 plus 8, 10. 10 plus 8, 18. 18 plus 1, 19. So first shell will have two electrons. Second shell will have 8 electrons. Third shell will also have 8 electrons. And last shell will have 1 electron. It is written here also. Fluorine is having atomic number 9. So its electronic configuration is 2 and 7. 2 electrons in the first shell. 7 electrons in the second shell. So potassium is going to give 1 electron to fluorine. So potassium's third shell will be the outermost shell which has 8 electrons. So it will become stable and fluorine will also get 8 electrons in the outermost shell. It will also be stable. So this is how they will look when potassium gives 1 electron and fluorine takes 1 electron. Both have become stable now. Next one water. 
water forms covalent bonding oxygen is having atomic number 8 and its electronic configuration is 2 and 6 so two electrons in the first shell and six electrons in the second shell hydrogen has atomic number 1 so it is having only one shell and electronic configuration is 1 so only one electron in the single shell so hydrogen needs at least two because it is the first shell so it will share one electron with oxygen it will become stable this hydrogen will also share one electron with oxygen because oxygen is having six electrons so oxygen needs two more electrons to become stable that's why it combines with two hydrogen atoms one hydrogen atom will give one one electron and other hydrogen atom will give one more electron so that's how h2o we get water the formula is h2o last one hydrogen chloride hydrogen chloride forms covalent bonding the atomic number of hydrogen is 1 so its electronic configuration will be 1 it is having only one shell children chlorine is having atomic number 17 its electronic configuration is 2 8 and 7 so first shell two electrons second shell eight electrons and third shell seven electrons so hydrogen and chlorine are going to share one electron with each other chlorine is going to share one electron with hydrogen so hydrogen will get two electrons and hydrogen is going to share one electron so chlorine gets eight electrons in the outermost shell so this is sharing children that's why it is forming covalent bond so here we complete with the question answers of this lesson i hope that you all have understood these question answers thank you for watching till the end